Now here are some hints on how to approach PDEs that we have discussed in class. Well, we have only discussed two. One is the heat equation and the other one is a Laplace equation in a square. So just to uh, crystallize a few points, the heat equation has a shape ut equals to say alpha uxx. Right, we know if we hit that with the separability the condition, then we get uh, u of xt, the function we're trying to find, in the form x of x times t of t. Now, normally these will generate the conditions for x and t. For x, there will be three possibilities. Either you will have a cosh, say, kx, plus b, that should be cosh b cinch kx, this is when lambda is positive, or it will be ax plus b when lambda is not, or it will be of the shape a cos kx plus b sin kx when lambda is less than zero. Of course, the lambda is, uh, the lambda is linked to the k that I'm using here it's for simplicity. The lambda and the k are, of course, connected. Right? Now, if you know, if you take the conditions, say the uh, initial conditions, if the conditions are given to be of the type u of, say, uh, x, u of x, say, when x is naught, and when x is, say, l, the boundaries, uh, sorry, the endpoints, the conditions at the end, endpoints, the boundary, then you can make the conclusion that uh, immediately you can say that x of x only has a shape a cos kx plus b sine kx without going through the motions of the calculations. These are known as the Dirichlet conditions, Dirichlet conditions, and immediately they give us this conclusion here. On the other hand, if it is not stated that these are the conditions, and if you have conditions such as ux of not t is zero, or perhaps ux of lt is zero, and these are not the same conditions, then you have to try out all the cases. Try all the cases and substitute, and check which of the cases actually survive and which ones fall away. Now the very same thing applies to the case of the Laplace equation of the, in the square. The only difference with the Laplace equation in the square is that uh, you have uxx plus uyy equals to naught. And again, you've got to test all the conditions. So the x, you see, when, whenever you have a shape, x double dash equals to lambda x, and you also have y double dash equals to lambda minus lambda y, then you'll always have the three conditions to contend with. x will be equal to a cosh plus b cinch, ax plus b, and a cos plus b sine. And likewise, this will have the same shape as well. So I hope that crystallizes the main differences between the two types of equations.